Managing geometric constraints. Once we have all the geometric constraints in place, we can go and we can manage those things. So right now, if I don't want to see them all, I can go up to my geometric panel and I can say hide all and all of them will disappear. They're still on. We just don't see them on the screen. Then I could actually go back up and say show all and show all shows me all the geometric constraints that are applied. I can go and say show hide. I can select an object. Uh, in this case I'll pick my rectangle and I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to say uh, I can hide everything for that particular object. So everything with that particular object I hid. So I can turn things on and off. So I'll go back and I'll show all. Also each geometric constraint has a little um, I'd call it a little bar, a little uh, a little marker, and when we hover over it, it tells us the type of constraint that it is. Also, when I right-click on this marker, I get hide, or I can hide all constraints, or I can delete it. So I can just say I'm going to delete that particular one. Likewise. I can just hit the little X button on any one of them and that will also uh, hide it. But you can see then when I get near the object I get a little flag that says there's a constraint there. So if I show all that thing will come back. So there's a difference between hiding and, and deleting. Deleting is permanently gone, hiding is just temporary not seen. So I can delete it and I can delete all all the I can hide all the constraints or hide just one of the constraints or I can go in my constraint bar settings and in my constraint bar settings I can have which ones are displayed uh, and I can actually have what kind of transparency this is and so I can make my settings here if I like for my constraint can set constraint settings so I can manage uh, most of the time we're going to show all or we're going to hide all. That's generally what we'll most of the time do but every once in a while you're going to end up with too many constraints for example if I auto constrain and I auto constrain and I say well I want to get rid of one you can just right click and delete. So a very fast way of managing our geometric constraints.